Welcome to my first product review. Today we'll be looking at the Rascal Plus Pet Trailer by Schwinn. This is my first bicycle trailer, unless you want to count all my childhood mishaps trailing a radio flyer wagon. Rest assured, this setup is loads safer than whatever you came up with as a child before the World Wide Web. I've divided my review into three categories, hardware and construction, handling and ease of use, and design. I provided a score for each out of 10 and averaged them. The Rascal Plus trailer gets a passing grade for me, but there's plenty of room for improvement. First up, hardware and construction. The frame and most of the hardware is sturdy and well built, which contributes to its significant weight. Unladen, the Rascal weighs in at 35 pounds. The steel frame trailer is beefy and stable. It has a low center of gravity and a wide stance, which is a plus when pulling large animals and upwards of 100 pounds. Why would anyone do that, you ask? Clearly, you haven't met Theo. He will be our passenger today. As you can see, he's outfitted with the latest safety gear, including a harness and safety doggles, which are not included. The frame-fastened leash, however, is included with the trailer. Observe Theo's can-do attitude and timeless good looks. Who wouldn't take him for a ride? Well, as it turns out, perhaps someone with a large pet who didn't want to modify their trailer. My first complaint has to do with the fabric shell which comprises the canopy of the trailer. The zippers and screens seem durable, but the synthetic fiber shell is weak and poorly stitched. Even before our first outing, signs of stress stitching was already apparent from just sitting fully assembled in my dining room for about a week and a half. This did not inspire confidence in the unit. For peace of mind, I modified a cargo lifting net by cutting to size and hand sewing additional loops for carabiners. This passed my strength tests and allowed Theo to lean into it with confidence. The material used for the canopy is kind of a big issue for me. If you want to afford your pet the ability to stand up or lie down, the included leash must be slackened, and the canopy becomes the only thing keeping your pet from skidding down the road behind you. Gravity and surface tension play less of a role when your pet is sitting up and most of them probably will be, at least until the novelty wears off. But from the look on Theo's face, that should be about never. Customizing an item or solving minor issues with products can present a worthwhile challenge if the initial price is right. For $200, one shouldn't have to re-sew, re-weld, or replace hardware. So I give it a six out of 10 for hardware and construction. All right, next, handling and ease of use. Again, the trailer is 35 pounds. If your pet is close to 100 pounds like mine, you'll be towing a significant amount of weight. It's not extremely noticeable at low speeds or flat terrain, but you'll need to change your riding habits a bit. The trailer doesn't have brakes, so it'll take you longer to stop, and you may have to utilize your bicycle's gearing more often to get going from a standstill. Remember to take your turns wider and slower for your four-legged companion, who will probably want to be up in a seated position to take in the sights. The handling is solid but stiff despite the 16-inch wheels. It would be nice if a suspension system could be incorporated into later designs. Would it be too much to ask for adequate dampening per pet weight? At the two to 300 price point, it doesn't seem unreasonable. Most $300 hardtail mountain bikes at Walmart come with front fork suspension. The current price for the Rascal Plus on Amazon, where we bought ours, is $227, with a list price of $289. I give it a 9 out of 10 for handling and ease of use. The stiff ride and substantial weight kept me from issuing a perfect score here. Lastly, a word on design. I love the design of this trailer and wished I didn't have to dock it here. It's functional, looks like a cute little camper, has safety conscious coloring, flags and reflectors, and has portability and storage in mind, both important considerations for cyclists who must both live with and transport their gear. My chief complaint concerns the locking mechanism on the rear crossbar, which is designed to unbuckle and swing forward, allowing for the sides to fold down onto the bed of the trailer. The plastic side release buckle would be better imagined as a spring, dedent, or bridge pin, maybe even dual snap buttons inside the tubing. The existing locking mechanism, a plastic buckle, has already broken on mine. The bottom tine of the buckle snapped upon second disassembly. With pins attaching the wheels and hitch, one more pin wouldn't have been too much to ask. While it is true that the buckle is hardware, I included it in this category as its application is more of a design flaw. 
plastic buckles are practical and even convenient in the proper application. This isn't it. It's likely that other customers have already secured their cross brace by some other means. There is a full-size zippered door in both the front and back of the trailer, making entry and exit possible from both directions. Although it is tight inside, there's room enough for Theo to lay down. His very first ride was lying down and fully zippered into the trailer. Today he's using the zippered porthole at the top of the front screen door. The size of the porthole is perfect for large dogs and seems to discourage disembarking. That feature is nice. The collapsible frame, tongue, and removable wheels are all also great ideas. The wheels attach in such a way that it's possible to change the inner tubes without removing the entire wheel. I like that too. I give the design an 8 out of 10. In total, I give the Rascal Plus a 23 out of 30. 76%. A C. In summary, I love the sturdy steel frame but hate the fabric canopy and poor stitching. The weight is manageable and the design is well intended but poorly executed in that plastic buckle. This has been my experience with Schwinn. They often deliver a nearly perfect product. Like the kick bike I have whose rear fender slid under the tire and became a ski. Here's a photo of the rock which wedged between the tire and the fender, captured by my action cam a few seconds after I impacted the ground. But that's a review for another day. It seems like a harsh score, and I suppose that it is. But hey, I really like this product. I enjoy using it, the dog loves it, and I think you have to be harsh. It's a good product that could be even better. So thanks for joining me today, and if you liked this review, please like and subscribe. Even if you didn't, do it for Theo. Look how cute he is. You know you want to do it for Theo. Look at Theo. What a good boy.